Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good evening. Here's a look at today's top stories. Ohio's positivity rate for coronavirus tests now double what it was a month ago. Weekly average now at 5.9%. 7% of those tested Monday came back positive. 2,600 new cases of COVID-19 reported in Ohio today. That brings the total from this pandemic to more than 205,000. Another 173 people hospitalized in the last 24 hours. More than 1,500 coronavirus patients are in Ohio hospitals right now, and 17 more deaths were reported today. A young woman shot dead in her own car in her own driveway, and now investigators are searching for her killer. Detectives with the Stark County Sheriff's Office say 29-year-old Morgan Fox may have been on her way to work early this morning, but when she got into her SUV, someone shot her in the head. Authorities have no idea who killed her, and they are urging anyone with information to contact them. It sounded like somebody like was dropping bombs. Well, that's what neighbors say it sounded like in Maple Heights overnight. This all started when police say somebody shot into a house on Raymond Street twice. When officers arrived, there was a shooter still there. The chase was on. It all ended when the car crashed into a building on Northfield Road in Bedford Heights. Police say the driver ran off with rifle in hand. Shots were fired during a foot chase. The suspect was hit. He was arrested, taken to a hospital. No officers hurt. This is going to be, for some of them, the difference between staying open and closing, but even more cases, whether somebody gets laid off or gets to keep their job. Ohio's Bureau of Workers' Compensation being asked to approve a $5 billion dividend to help Ohio's businesses struggling during this pandemic. Now, it's the third time they've done this this year, and it's the largest payment ever issued. Now, the payout's expected to come in December, and they could range from thousands of dollars for restaurants and farms to millions for local governments. Hi, right, Mark saw the sun today. Uh, sun yeah, you things did. to come. Did you enjoy that sunshine? Yes, we did. Because <laughs> you're not going to see it for a couple more days. Oh, Sorry boy. about that. We get some clouds overnight. We get some rain towards sunrise moving in from the south. Overnight lows right around, oh, 40s everywhere you go. But tomorrow, rain gear, and if you've got outdoor things to do, it's probably not going to happen. It's, it's rain on and off all day long, a high near 49 degrees. Going to be chilly.